My question is regarding the economy. Over the past two years, we have seen the prices for everything skyrocket. From food right. to gas to utilities and insurance costs, many people's bills are up several hundred dollars a month, including mine. If elected president again, what is the first thing you would do to help bring down the cost to make things more affordable? Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> yeah, goody, goody, goody. Consummate politician. Clear answer. Wow. No, I would say that's not a political answer. That's they, they that's advise practical. They that's advise a practical. You to not say those things. Right. They that's go, a practical. Just answer, answer with a non-answer. That's a truthful, practical answer. Hello, President Trump. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um, the current administration has made it clear well, that we should continue man. to provide military equipment to Ukraine Grandpa? so that they can defend themselves. Do you support this decision? And how would Ooh. you deal with the increasing threat posed by Vladimir Putin? Mm. First of all. Thank you very much. It's really nice. I would have never let it happen. It's an important question, so important, because we're giving away so much equipment. We don't have ammunition for ourselves right now. We Take don't it have from ammunition Afghanistan. for ourselves. We're giving away so much. But here's the right. thing. Biden I have to say it to start no. off. No longer matters. If I were president, this would have never happened. <laughs> and even the this. Democrats admit that. <laughs> Putin knew it would have never happened. And his pipeline would have never happened. A lot of things would have never happened. But this Which would Democrats never have happened. That, and Mr. all those President? dead people, <laughs> both Russian and Ukrainian, it would, they wouldn't be dead today. <laughs> and all those cities that are blown up and disintegrated right to the ground, that wouldn't have happened. Okay. Now, you know what I love that Donald Trump does? What he does, because everyone knows here about the U everyone knows the Ukraine answer. Uh, uh, so we have a little bit of a, of a lull. I love that Donald Trump will answer with specificity tonight. Here's what he'll do. He'll answer with specificity. He'll disabuse people of a certain notion that the, the uh, moderator or the conductor, whatever you want to call her, uh, tries to instill in the audience. And then he drives it home with something unrelated, but also leaves a mark like, there was tons of dead wood and everywhere. This, this is what happened. I replaced it. They say 52. This is the game that they play. They didn't want to fund it. He'll go through it and then be like, termites, and then go back. <laughs> Just so and then people remember that. That's right. And uh, he's, he's he very, anchors. very good at it. It's called anchoring. Yeah. Yes, exactly. He's technical I learned, that, I learned that. I don't know any Democrats who have said May that. May 11th through 13th, New Brunswick, New Jersey. But her question is, would you continue to give Ukraine money and weapons if you're elected? Uh, What's the answer? I have a very good relationship with uh, President Zelensky because, as you know, he backed me up with the, with the phony uh, impeachment. Impeachment oh, yeah, hoax number one. The perfect call. He said, <laughs> The president didn't do anything wrong. So I happened to like, so I happened to like, yeah, that's weapons. right. And it, it was, I was totally exonerated, by the way, just a waste of time. Would be great if they cut to that shot. He goes, don't side, pro don't side profile her. That's cruel. I'm helping you. It's not fair to her. <laughs> don't go to side profile, <laughs> folks. That's mean. Woman Nancy but Pelosi, the question here is, Mr. Drink on the impeachment comment. Oh, drink. I would sit down. Let, let me just put it a nicer way. Uh, if I'm well, president, water. I will have that war settled in one day, 24 that, that's, hours. You hear what you just said? Wow. If I'm president, I'll have that war settled <laughs> wow. in one day. That's the answer. Boom. That's I mean, the answer. I'll solve the problem. I've talked about this. Ukraine is a perfect example. He had eight years of Obama, then he had three years of Donald Trump. One last year was engineered, of course. That's the number they try to point to as far as his, what they try to point to as his failure for presidency is the engineered pandemic of COVID. Um, and then you have another, after this, you'll have four years of Biden. There's a very stark contrast. Let's talk about international policy because the idea is this guy is just such a loose cannon that we're less safe. Hey, what happened under uh, Barack Obama? Something, something, Crimea? Something, oh, yeah, that's something, something. Like kick this was Crimea? Is it pronounced Crimea? Crimea? Something, something, Georgia? Crimea. Right? And yeah, then Georgia. what happened under Donald Oh, nothing. And then we had Ukraine afterwards. Because anyone who's been in a schoolyard knows that crazy beats big every time. You just have to be a little <laughs> bit crazy. That's right. You There's lose. value in that. Yeah. Even Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong was going like, I, I don't know. I don't know this guy. I don't know you what forgot, he's gonna. You forgot Syria. That's right. Obama. Remember yep. the Syria. red line. This is the red line, and then they do it. And they're like, well, I mean, the red. And line. it's Ooh. just like they can't. It was in sand. They can't yeah. stop. Can move it. They can't stop. <laughs> Getting uh, getting it wrong. The things they yeah. try to attack him on, people like him. And then what they try and use as this sort of failsafe, like, yeah, but international policy. You need someone with an even temperament. He's proven them wrong yeah. through yeah, eight, because three years, the way and they another describe four. describe the world, the way they describe the world is not what we see in our everyday life. Right. It just doesn't. We're just like, I know. I, what are they talking about? They think that most Americans are going, come on, you better say yes, you're going to give money to Ukraine. Right. Yeah. I just sound like Jim Brewer for some reason. Like, <laughs> it better say yes, it's going to give money to Ukraine. I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, Brian. It's, it's good. <laughs> Do you yeah, still did. respect him today? Uh, he made a tremendous mistake. Made it, he made it. He was a smart guy. You know? Putin. I remember I said he was smart, she was smart. They what said, was his he mistake? said President Xi of China, right, is smart. Okay, 1.5 billion people. He's the ruler of 1.5 billion people. I said, yeah, he's a smart guy. How dare he say he's smart? Of course he's smart. They want you to say he's a stupid person. Okay, he's not a stupid person. He's very smart. He's very cunning. And Putin made a bad mistake, in my opinion. What was his it mistake? Let me ask you something mistake. really quickly, okay? And I'd like to see, maybe we can put, uh, I guess we can't put this to a poll, but you can tweet me and you can use the hashtag Credit Town Hall. Um, would you rather a world where Donald Trump, Donald Trump starts with the presupposition that Putin and Xi Jinping are smart, or would you rather a world where former Vice President Joe Biden assumes they're dumb? In which world are you safer? Mm. Good question. Yeah. I think stop. Because if he's going to be a war criminal where people are going to go and grab him and execute him. You know who is smart? He's going to fight a Hitler. Lot than Correct. He's Doesn't mean I like him. Right. I think Einstein was an asshole. Doesn't mean he's dumb. <laughs> right. <laughs> war settled. And I'm not talking about the money either. I'm talking about all the lives that are being, the number of people being killed in that war is far greater than you're hearing. When they blow up a city and those buildings come pouring down and then they say two people were injured. No, no. Hundreds and thousands of people are being killed, and we have to get that war settled. He's reaching in his pocket. All right, he has a list of things he said. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hey, look, Weasley. My pocket. He's got props. Uh -oh. so What's he doing here? On January 5th, the day before, I said, please support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country. Stay peaceful. Stay peaceful. This was the day before. And this was in the form of Twitter. Now I use Truth, Truth Social. I think it's far superior. Okay. I hope everybody's on. I hope everybody's on Truth. Uh, if you look, January 6th. Right now, Tucker two, just went. Yeah. Two thirty. I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. This is right after, as it was happening. But what happened is, they took it down. I don't know why. I think they took it down because it was so good. They didn't like it being up there. <laughs> I am asking, this is, and we didn't know until I got it back because now I have 90 million people waiting for me to go back, but I'm on truth and I'm staying on truth. <laughs> I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Hey, Capitol to remain peaceful. Is he's so I think oh, is oh, this way, All right, everybody, no drink. Uh, I'm going to read slow with the refill I, I tonight. Need, what is I that, need my refill. Right, bring it in. Bring it in, guys. We need yeah, some man. wine and we need a beer for Steve. I guess no one's paying attention. Let's go. I'd like my wine, please. I'm good. <laughs> that was very early. Mr. President, I looked at the same timeline that you did. No, Once I know, it was but you clear, didn't report that. I you can't know why? Because it was we did report down. it. I, I was reporting it was that thing. It was taken down. down. No, when it was clear to you that they were not being peaceful, you saw them rushing the Capitol, breaking windows. They were hitting officers with flagpoles, tasing them, beating them up. When it was clear they weren't being peaceful, why did you wait three hours to tell them to leave the Capitol? They he already told them to, to be peaceful yeah, before no that. Mm -hmm. you know that. That's why. They do. I agree with that. But so why Nancy, Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi and the mayor are in charge. I assume yep, they were they able are. to do their job. They were Think of the standard. He preemptively said be peaceful. Then he's out there giving it. He asked for them to uh, to, to increase the Capitol Police. But yep. right? he made the request. Then he's out there. And they're saying, why didn't you do it right then? He, We didn't know what was going on on the right. ground, by the way. We didn't yep. know that feds were going to show up right. and raid the, their own Capitol. Why didn't you go down there in person, you know? Yeah. Oh, what was a big clap? Let me see what he said. And I'm sorry. It was a beautiful video. And it said, I mean, I don't want to read it all, but you have, but I you will. have to go home now. <laughs> we have to have peace. <laughs> we have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people of law and order. We love the people of law and order. We can't play I into the, the hands show of these other people. <laughs> we have to have peace. Please go home. Well, I said that. You know the what they did? There, they Mr. took Mr. that President. down. And you know, to this day, it hasn't been put up. And the reason is it's so good and so conclusive that all of this nonsense and all of the tens of millions of dollars that have been yeah. spent are just wiped away with so this So fact one. check for her. So D.C. Mayor Muriel, what is it, Bowser or something like that? Bowser requested unarmed guardsmen and said they should not help with the protests. And evidence does point to Nancy Pelosi denying those requests. Of course. From Donald Trump saying, hey, would you like guardsmen? Nope. Why would you do that unless you were wet, ready for something to go she, off? She, she's on record as saying no. Yeah. Fact check. Also, there were many feds there. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. We can, you can call it a conspiracy. By the way, all references are available at lightwithcredit.com. We have tons today of prep that uh, I don't know if we'll necessarily get to because this is just a fun house as it is. Uh, the promo code is Crider Town Hall, lightwithcredit.com slash club. You get $10 off 
or you get three months free if you've uh, subscribed anywhere else uh, to any other streaming service. Let's continue watching this man. Shoot her. Spank her. At blank like range, athletic, Santa old Claus. blank <laughs> range, they what? shot her. You just give. And she was a good person. Talking about Ashley Babbitt now. Oh. One there was no reason. There. To, there was no good for him. Reason. And... He went on television to she's, brag about She's stumbling. That he killed she doesn't her. know where to go with this. The officer was not bragging about the fact that he oh, killed he her. But bragging. one person who was at the he Capitol that day, as you know, was your vice president, Mike Pence, who says that you pussy? endangered his life <laughs> on that day. Who was talking to you about Pussy you. Pence? <laughs> I didn't know. It, I thought it was my day, my town. Oh, it's, it's Pussy Pence's town. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. It's back to the state legislatures, and I think we Tim were going to Tim Pence, they called him. But he doesn't have the authority to do that, as you know. What? The vice president does not have the authority to okay, reject those elections. Are you ready? Let's have this one out just now because oh. it's interesting. Let's keep it interesting, right? <laughs> I like yeah. Mike Pence very much. He's a very fine man. Oh, He's oh. a very nice man. He made a mistake. His lawyer said, you cannot move. I called him the human conveyor belt. I said, even if the votes, you mean, I <laughs> talked to his lawyer, even if the votes are absolutely fraudulent, he can't say, yes, sir, he can't say, but, and the Democrats played it and the rhinos played it. And then the election was over. They told him he couldn't do it. And Mike said to me, I can't do it. The lawyers told me I can't do it. They can't do it. But the lawyers were wrong. Because right after the election, they all met, the rhinos and the Democrats, and they worked out a plan to make sure that future vice presidents don't do what I said you could do. That's not what happened. You're referring to the <laughs> Electoral Count Act. I've read, I've read that. There is, there is no authority. No, Legal experts, me. including Republicans, oh, say that he excuse does me, not have me. that authority, Drink. Mr. Caitlin, President. But I want to move on. Why did they change the law then, the saying that you can't do it? They didn't change the law. They strengthened the law because they were worried about oh, presidents exploiting. Oh, they strengthened it, meaning you could do it. That's, that's not what it means. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, right. Come on. Yeah, have the right to oh, do it. I've missed this I guy. think Caitlin thought Convincing. that this was going to be her coming out party, and instead <laughs> she's getting run over by a tank. Yeah. It's <laughs> back to Georgia, Pennsylvania, I love and it. other states, Wisconsin, which... Gerald, you your prediction was would have been right if she wasn't so bumba if she wasn't so caustic. That's true. She does come across as unlikable yes. right now. Yes. Just in general. They would not come back in the affirmative. And she, she and owns no upper lip. Well, you just said it pretty she's much. Got you a, admitted what I said was there's right. There's a purity to her outfit. Yes, that's true. So that's a power God. move. Yeah, that's, that's, that's he just awesome. he just slapped his wiener on the table, said, "Take a look." <laughs> Massive. You sexually abused the writer E. Jean uh -oh. Carroll and defamed uh -oh. her. You've denied this, but what do you say to voters? Uh, by the way, so did the court. Yeah. yeah. Too many of them because my poll numbers just came out. They went up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only person in history who had a charge like that and the, usually you, you leave office you say I'm sorry but I'm going to back home I'm back home to my family and everything I'm going to be resigned my poll numbers went up and they went up with the other fake charge too because what's <laughs> happening is they're doing this for election interference this woman, I don't know her, I never met her, I have no idea who she is. I had a picture taken years ago with her and her husband, nice guy, John By the Johnson, way, she was, was funded a, by a Democrat mega donor, just to be clear. Reed Hoffman. The co-founder, yep, LinkedIn, Reed Hoffman. Uh, Anti-Trumper. Well, yep, huge backer of Hillary Clinton, just to be clear. And by the way, there was a deposition uh, where she said that no one was actually paying her legal fees, so that's a lie, that's perjury, that would be important, you would think. And there was a, bu there was a bunch of foul play there, I think the most important of which is the fact that they changed the statute of limitations, then he committed no sexual assault, it's battery, which means any kind of touching that's unwanted. Let's hear Caitlin Collins try and bullshit away from you. No, I don't think so, because I think the whole thing, just so you understand, ready? <laughs> I <laughs> never met this woman. I never saw this woman. This woman said, I met her at the front door of Bergdorf Goodwin, which I rarely go into, other than for a couple of charities. I met her in the front door. She was about 60 years old, and this is like 22, 23 years ago. I met her in the front door of Bergdorf Goodman. I was immediately attracted to her, and she was immediately attracted to me. And we this is what she said. had this yeah. great chemistry. We're walking into a crowded department, so we had this great chemistry. And a few minutes later, we end up in a, a room, a dressing room of Bergdorf Goodman, right near the cash register. And then she found out there were locks on the door, so she said, I found one that was open. She found one. She learned this at trial. She found one that was open. What kind of a woman meets somebody and brings them up, and within minutes, you're playing hanky-panky in a dressing room, okay? I don't know if he was, she was married then Should or not. John Johnson, I feel sorry for you, John Johnson. Mr. President, <laughs> I know you're recounting 
from what she said, but Mr. But, President. But he's got to be careful. Just, he's got to be careful here. Yeah. No. So just so you understand, though. if I was walking in at the park, because I was very famous then, and I owned the Plaza Hotel right next door, and I owned buildings around it, I'm not going into a dressing room of a crowded department store. Then I say, if she was being raped, and by the way, they said she wasn't raped. Okay, that was her charge. She wasn't. They found they that did, sexually they found, abused her. No, no, what? Say what? They, they did. They said he didn't rape, rape her. And did I didn't do anything else either. You know what? Because I have no idea who the hell she is. But Mr. President, <laughs> can, I, can I ask you, given your recounting, I your version? I don't know who, and, and I tell you this. But Mr. President, are you ready? Can I, can I, and I can swear I ask on you my children, which I never do, <laughs> I have no idea who this woman is. This is a fake story, made up story. Mm -hmm. We had a horrible Clinton appointed judge. He was horrible. He allowed her to put everything in. He allowed us yeah. to put Ka nothing judge Kaplan in. Judge was appointed by Clinton in 1994. Yes, exactly. 94, Judge Kaplan. Right now to the audience. You referenced the trial. You did not go to the trial and actually right. testify. Do you wish that you had testified? No, it wouldn't have made a difference. This was a rigged deal. This was a, my lawyer did said. Did you see the deposition? I killed it. <laughs> and by the way, I know, here's what the media wants you to believe. Oh, rigged, oh, rigged trial. Oh, uh, I guess everyone's ringing it against you. Maybe you're the problem. That's the, by the way, we, this has happened across the board with people they don't like. They did the same thing to George W. Bush. No one can defend Carlson. themselves. They, no. We've, yeah. I've lived it. What happens is they pile on and they try and make it seem as though everyone can't be wrong, but it's all coming from the same place. Exactly. That's what's going on right here, and that's why he's not apologizing. Good no for him. one can defend themselves against this kind of thing. No. If someone never. gets a story and you get nothing, and somebody says after 23 years or whatever it is, there's nothing you can do. Right. No. Fix is not. in, man. The yeah. fix is in. A special counsel investigating your document situation. Also, President Biden's document situation. When it comes to your documents, did you ever show those classified documents to anyone? Not really. I would have the right to. By the way, they were declassified what do you mean not really? after. Not, not that I can think of. Let me just tell you, I have the absolute right to do whatever I want with them. I have the right. I was negotiating with NARA. Do you know what NARA is? The National Archives. <laughs> extremely, but you don't extremely left group of them. people. Extremely left. <laughs> and I was oh, extremely that, left. That RBF. They oh. my house. They didn't oh. raid the house of Joe Biden. They didn't raid Obama. Oh. But Joe Biden did it in a subpoena to get those documents back like Joe you Biden did. And took so that's 1850 the question. But that's the question that investigators have, I think, is why you held on to those documents. <laughs> oh, by the way, why is that check? The Look at that. The federal government was <laughs> seeking them and then they give you a subpoena to return. Are you, ready? Back. Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, what's you the mind? answer? Can I, do you mind? Watch this. I would like for you to answer. Insult okay. It's very simple to yeah, answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to answer. You're a nasty person. Oh, oh, drink it, get it. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, 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 Sir, finish it. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.